Hey, this is copywriter Casey Demchak, and today I have three surprising book marketing copy editing secrets for you that I think will really help you write really much more refined, polished book marketing copy. And the reason these three tips are so surprising is two of them don't even involve writing. So if you could improve your editing skills when it comes to writing really well-crafted book marketing copy using uh, three editing techniques, two of them didn't even involve, don't even involve any writing, I think you might be up for that. And the reason I want to give you this tip today, this all centers around a huge mistake I see a lot of uh, authors make when they're writing their book marketing copy. Now, I've worked with over 100 authors helping them write their book marketing copy. I've worked on the marketing copy for over three dozen books that have become Amazon bestsellers. And probably the biggest mistake I see authors make when they're working on their book marketing copy is... They put the finish stamp on it way too soon. They, they work on it for a while and they say, okay, I'm done. A lot of times that's because uh, working on marketing copy for their book is something authors just want to get out of the way. They don't really like write, write. They don't really like writing marketing copy for their book. They may not feel real confident about doing that. But I think if you master these three editing skills I'm going to give you today, um, these three surprising editing skills I'm going to give you today, I think you'll enjoy it a lot more. And your book marketing copy, most important, is going to come out uh, much more polished than it otherwise would. So to teach you these three editing techniques, let's jump to my example board here. Give me one second. All right, and just a reminder before I get going, going, and I bring this up almost every week, writing book marketing copy, it doesn't have to be a chore, it doesn't have to be scary, it doesn't have to be stressful. It should be a lot of fun. And as you incorporate all these writing techniques that I'm giving you, over the series of all these videos I'm creating, I think you'll get a lot more comfortable writing book marketing copy and you'll have a lot more fun with it. Now, the first surprising editing secret I wanna give you is, and again, this one doesn't involve writing. In fact, this is an editing technique you can do in your sleep, which makes it pretty cool. Let your copy incubate. A lot of times, like I said earlier, when authors finish their book marketing copy, they put the finish stamp on it a little bit too soon or they post it to their website. What you want to do when you think it's done, let it sit, okay? And, and preferably let it sit overnight. Give yourself enough time to where you can set it aside uh, overnight, maybe even for a day or two. Work on some other projects, do some other things. The goal here is you want to let your copy sit for a while so you can come back and look at it with a fresh perspective. So, um, Work on another project, you know, let your copy sit for at least, you know, a several hours, but you should work on your book marketing copy in the course of writing your book or while your book's in editing. So you should be able to set it aside for a couple of days or so. Come back, give it a fresh look. And every time I do that when I'm writing marketing copy, you know, I set, I set my project aside for a couple of days. And when I come back to it, just the fact that I haven't looked at it in a couple of days enables me to give it, give it a fresh eye and come at it from a fresh perspective. And I always end up making edits and changes that I otherwise wouldn't have made if I didn't let the copy incubate for a little period of time. This is another one you can do without actually writing. You wanna read your copy out loud. When you think you've got it done and never skip this step, you wanna read your copy out loud for a few reasons. You wanna make sure that your copy sounds natural and flowing. When I say read it out loud, I don't mean just kind of get your lips moving. I mean, read it out loud, just like I'm reading out loud or talking out loud right now. And if your neighbors and friends or your family think you're a little goofy, don't worry about it. They'll get over it. But when you read your copy out loud, you can do a few things. Ask yourself, does this copy I'm reading, does this sound like me? Does this sound like my natural, authentic voice? Does it sound like the voice of my book? Um, that's a huge part of reading your copy out loud. Another thing you get out of reading your copy out loud, uh, last week I mentioned in my last video, you want to, when you're editing your copy, you want to eliminate having too many descriptors that are the same work. For example, if you've written a business book and you're talking about your innovative principles and you find yourself using the word innovative a lot or dynamic or, or a couple descriptor words over and over, um, you, they're easy to skim over when you're reading your copy. But when you read your copy out loud, you'll, you'll, you're going to hear yourself saying these same words over and over again. And it'll help you... Uh, Scratch those out and come up with some new descriptor words. So it's just really, really important to you read your copy aloud. You want to revise your copy until it has a distinctive voice. It's very easy to get caught up in making sure you get all the details, the benefit statements you want in your copy. But it's very important to read it out loud so that it has a natural 
flowing uh, voice to it, something that's, that, that corresponds with the voice of your book. If you do this and make sure your marketing copy has a very distinct voice, it's going to help your marketing copy stand out in an otherwise very crowded marketplace. Quick reminder, you can get some more stuff from me. Hop on over to caseydemchek.com secrets, and you can download my free ebook, Seven Must Know Copywriting Secrets and Sell More Books. I also got the link down in the video description here on YouTube. So go ahead and click that, click through. If you haven't already downloaded this free report, I think you'll find a lot of cool stuff in here. So I really encourage you to go ahead and do that. Finally, the number three tip, and this one does involve writing, is to rewrite your copy a lot before you call it done. I always say good writing is rewriting. Great rewriting, great writing is rewriting some more. When I write marketing copy, a lot of my clients who maybe come back to me for a second or third project, they'll say, Casey, I need you to do your magic. You know, that sounds nice to hear, but writing good marketing copy is not magic. It's a matter of doing a bunch of rewrites. When I, when I write a blog copy, you know, I'm, I do some editing and revising to it, but I do much more editing and revising when I write marketing copy. Really good marketing copy. It looks like it's just kind of flowed out from somebody and like, like wow, it could look impressive. But really to write strong marketing copy, you need to give, uh, give it a lot of attention, write multiple drafts. And what this means is allow your first draft to be kind of rough, even crappy. Some of my first drafts aren't all that great, but I keep working through it. Um, get rid of those cliches, as I've said in the past, uh, add a bunch of detail into your copy. Instead of making general statements, make very specific statements. Make sure everything you write really means something and is believable. People can smell BS a mile away. So as you're working on your rewrites, ask yourself, does what I'm reading right now, what, am I, what I'm writing right now, does it really mean something? Does it have depth and texture to it? And in terms of length, as you're writing your copy, you always want to make it as tight as you can. You don't have to make your copy super short. Um, when people are, are deciding whether or not they're going to buy your book, they want to have the information they need to make an informed buying decision. So don't make your copy, uh, you don't feel like you have to make it super short, but you want it short enough to where you're conveying it's compelling, people can move through it. You don't want your copy to be boring. So it isn't so much is my copy long, it is my is my copy boring. So give every uh, your readers the information they need to know to make a smart buying decision and then stop. And sometimes you can do that with a uh, short copy. Sometimes you need a little extra copy. So just make sure you give everybody what they need and then stop. And again, the key to great writing is rewriting a lot. So don't, you know, Take some time with your marketing copy, set it aside, come back to it, revise it, kind of geek out on it a little bit and uh, put the time into rewriting it quite a bit. And that's how you're going to get the best quality book marketing copy. And when you do that, you're going to sell more books. And remember, your book marketing uh, copy should feel like a conversation between you and your readers. So if you take that mindset when you write your marketing copy, you're going to feel much more at ease. It's going to be able for you, uh, easier for you to incorporate these tips I'm giving you. Just think of it, you know, hey, I'm writing marketing copy. I want it to sound like a conversation I'd have with somebody about my book over a cup of coffee. If you come at it from that mindset, um, your copy is going to be much more better. And again, as I always say, you can do this. If you've written a book, you can definitely write marketing copy for your book. It's just a matter of learning uh, the techniques and subtle nuances of doing so. And hopefully the tips I've given you today will help you do that. So I'm going to stop sharing the screen. So I hope these tips have been uh, helpful for you. Why don't you scroll on down, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And then um, just keep at it, incorporate these tips into your game. It's going to make your book copy much more stronger. And I got another video coming up for you here shortly. So check that out. I got some more copywriting tips in there for you. And then take a lot of action, make things happen, and really go for it.